We look through it every day. We build our homes with it. Our screens, our cars, our cities. Glass feels strong, rigid, and unbreakable. But what if I told you, glass is not really solid? It conceals one of the strangest stories in physics beneath its ordinary, transparent appearance. A story of matter neither quite solid nor quite liquid, but frozen in time, trapped between states. The key to the mystery is contained in the following apparently impossible fact. The glass is flowing, at the moment, very slowly but flowing. Yes, technically, the glass in your window is moving. Not enough to see in a lifetime. But over centuries, its atoms shift, crawling downward, like liquid so thick it might as well be made of stone. So what is glass? Not a crystal, not a true solid, not liquid. Glass is a supercooled, disordered solid. A substance whose atoms are frozen into the wrong positions. In a normal solid, atoms line up in perfect repeating patterns. In a liquid, atoms move freely and flow past one another. But glass? Glass cheats the system. Its atoms are arranged like a liquid, but stuck in place as in a solid. Imagine trying to freeze a river in mid-flow. The water loses its motion but keeps its liquid-like structure. That's glass. A liquid that got trapped before it could crystallize. But here's the thing. Glass wants to become a solid. So it keeps trying. Its atoms slowly rearrange over thousands, even millions of years, creeping toward a more stable form. This is why medieval cathedral windows are thicker at the bottom. Glass was poured unevenly. Over the centuries, though, gravity helped it creep, and the scientists discovered something even stranger. Glass never actually completes, stabilizing its atoms are in motion forever, so slow that the age of the universe isn't enough time for it to settle. This makes glass a time material, a solid that evolves, shifts, relaxes, changing shape so slowly that only history can measure it. On the atomic level, glass is a frustrated material. It wants order, but can't find the perfect arrangement. So it sits, stuck in this eternal state of almost solid scientists call this the glass transition. A mysterious boundary beyond which cooling matter suddenly gets stuck, its atoms panicking into place. Some physicists believe that understanding glass could unlock new rules of matter, solve puzzles about aging, time, and frozen motion. Because glass is not just a material, it's a window into physics that does not follow the rules. It bends. It creeps. It remembers. It hides the history of its own making within its atomic scars. And so, the next time you look out through a window, remember, you're not looking through something solid, you're looking through matter caught in motion, slower even than time itself moving.